All right, so here are the dressers that I'm going to redo, and I found them at Goodwill. They were in two separate sections of the store. They were marked at $20 each. I just saw that they were in good enough shape. I could flip them, so I grabbed the tags, paid for them, brought them home. When I put them in the uh, driveway, then I realized they were actually a matching pair. I mean, I didn't pay very much attention. I just saw they were built pretty nice, and they could use a makeover, so... I figured they'd be good enough to flip as is. So over the winter, what I've been doing is just flipping stuff as is. I find it cheap. I don't really, I mean, I might dust it, but I don't do any make makeovers whatsoever. And I sell it for pretty good money. So uh, for this pair, I bought at 40. The plan was just to list them locally for 150 and take anywhere from 125 to 150 and just be done with it. So I actually did list them on Craigslist and Facebook Marketplace for 150. I had them up a couple of days and the more I looked at them, I realized these would actually be really good for a makeover. Now the problem with a lot of the makeovers I've been doing over the last year or two is I was getting crazier and crazier with my designs and they were getting a lot harder to sell. And they, when they would eventually sell, they were not going for the money I wanted. So I decided to go back to the basics and go with really clean and classic look that will always look good. Doesn't matter if it's going in a country house or a farmhouse or whatever it should look, you know, it will always look good and the people will be very happy with it. So I'm going to go very simple with this one, but it should be a pretty good makeover. So if you look at it, they're kind of an off white. They're just very dirty. They're, uh, you know, got some dents. This one has a little crack I might need to repair. And then it's just a really ugly color that I'm going to redo. This one here, for whatever reason, they painted the top pink. This is a terrible paint job. And as you can see, Lizzie scratched in it and uh, played tic-tac-toe. Apparently someone hates Heidi. It's just rough. So I'm going to sand all that off and repaint it. Okay, the drawer faces again. These have a couple of dents and dings and things like that. So I'll smooth them out, get rid of those flowers and then repaint them. Now also you can see the hardware doesn't match. I'm sure it originally come with this style here. You see that a lot with dressers that have the dental work and the scroll work down there. But I don't have any that fit. I have a whole bucket of these I take off of makeovers, but I didn't have any that fit. But luckily, it just so happens that these modern style handles they have, there is enough if I do something. So what I'm going to do is take four of these and remount them to the center here, okay? And then fill in all of those holes and then take the four left over and then those will mount here. Then it'll, they'll all have the same hardware, which is good because I looked them up, they're about six or seven dollars each. So that'd be almost 30 bucks just to uh, buy four new ones when I could just do a little bit of work and save money. And then what I'm going to do is paint the drawer faces just bright white and then the body will be a rich midnight blue. It should look really clean and classic, a little bit modern, kind of a cool, you know, got that classic look with the scroll work and the dental work, but then the color scheme and that hardware is a little more modern. Should be interesting and I think it will sell really well. So let me go ahead and get started. All right, so I got them finished sanded up last night when it was dark, so it was too dark to shoot video. But as you can see, I didn't even worry about getting all the paint off. It was more about just smoothing out what was there. And then uh, I went through and just sanded all the faces. Um, there's a little bit of work there. I might have to build that up with some Bondo. And there's a few dents and dings I wanna fill in. This one's gonna need some work though. I wanna uh, focus out on it first. So I need to find center and then center this way and then drill in two new holes that match these because that's what my uh, little handles will fit and get two new holes and then all the other holes need to get filled in. It'd probably be best to do them with like dowel rods and all that, but I'm just gonna do the uh, quick and dirty way with putting tape on the backside and then just filling them in with Bondo and smoothing them out that way. It should look a lot better. And then once all the Bondo is sanded smooth, I will then spray prime them because it will actually stick to this finish. And then I can roll and you know brush on the uh, finish coat after that with regular acrylic latex and it will actually stick to the spray primer. So let me go ahead and start working on this one. All right, so there we go. I figured out center. So it's, uh, what was it, 13 and 1 8 And then down this way, it was 3 and 3 8 and then the holes were two and a half inches apart. So I went one and a quarter inch away from center to the right and to the left. So these holes should be good. I can double check right here and look at that. It should fit just right. So I'll go ahead and can continue doing that on these others. I think this bottom drawer is actually a little deeper so I'll have to remeasure for it. 
But drill out those holes, make sure they fit, and then I can start filling these in and doing all the bondo work. All right, look at that, got it on loose, but it fits perfect. So now I can go ahead and start filling the holes, get all that bondo work done, and get this thing moving. All right, and check it out. I got them all spray primed now. They look way better than they did. So now I can go ahead and take them inside and get them painted and put together and finished up. All right, I brought everything inside because it looks like it's probably gonna start raining out there. But uh, the drawer faces, I'm going to paint them just a bright white. This is just El Cheapo stuff from Menards, just in white. But even though I had no color added to it, I still have them mix it up at the store because I have bought white paint before that was not mixed very well and it turned out terrible when you paint. So I always have them shake it up before I ever bring it home. Okay, so once those are done, it'll probably take about three coats to make them look right. I'll set them aside. Then I will paint the uh, dresser bodies with this. This is uh, same cheapo paint. This is uh, Midnight Azure. So I guess Midnight Blue, just a really, really dark blue. Pretty cool color. And then uh, once everything's all painted up, I'll throw the handles on there and this thing will be good to go. All right, and check it out, here they are all finished. So it took me a few days to do the paint because I had a few mess ups and I had to do it over and over. So it should have been about three coats, but I probably ended up doing about six. I had some runs here and there that I didn't catch and I redid them and then it would go back down to white and areas and I would over cracked and it was a whole disaster in some spots. So it's definitely not my best paint job, but it looks good and much, much better than it did when I first bought them. So. Anyway, I have that dark midnight blue. It's almost black in spots. It really pops with the white drawer faces. And then of course the uh, simple modern handles that they had put on there. And uh, I like my idea of just putting them in the center and then filling in the holes with Bondo, smoothing them out. And then the white paint helps hide any slight bad body work that might be there. But for the most part, you can't tell whatsoever that it used to have handles there. And uh, I don't know why they had doubles. I mean, just keeping them right here in the center, I think everything just works a lot better. The other thing I like is the play it has in the dental work, the trim up here, the little swirly do's down at the bottom, mixed with the uh, you know very modern handle and color scheme. It's just a nice play. It's not too over the top, it's not too boring. I think it's nice and flippable. Um, I did choose blue, which might slightly hurt the uh, flipping value, but I think it'll still sell really well. But maybe a gray or a brown or all white or black or something like that might have been a little bit better. But uh, I think this is still uh, subtle enough that it will sell okay. I have a feeling it'll probably go in someone's kid's room, but we'll see. So anyway, when I first bought them, like I mentioned, I paid 40 bucks, $20 each. I had listed them, I was just gonna flip them as is with the ugly off-white paint, the cheesy flowers, the one with the scratched up pink top. I had listed for 150 and I figured they would probably go for about 100 or $125. But now that I've redone them, I wanna ask a lot more. I can't get crazy prices for furniture around here. People just don't wanna pay it. But I think I could ask maybe 300, 325, maybe 350, but I don't think my paint job is good enough for 350. But uh, I'll probably ask about 325 and we'll see what happens. So uh, let's say it sells for 300 and I was originally gonna maybe sell at 125. So that would be 
an extra, what is that, $175, which sounds pretty good. It's more than what I was expecting, but I ended up spending about four or five afternoons on it because I was redoing the paint. So you gotta think about what your time worth, okay? So I just use brush and spots and then the roller, it goes on pretty thin. And of course I had some mess ups and all that. Um, I would definitely recommend if you plan on doing this a lot to get a sprayer. I actually have one, but I just haven't used it yet. But you could knock out a paint job in a day with one of them, no problem. And uh, I think it would be worth your time and definitely worth investment if you're planning on doing this to make some decent money. So anyway, I will go ahead and get it listed. I'm going to snap some pictures of it. I will put it on Facebook and on uh, Craigslist. And we'll see what happens. I have a feeling that it will probably sell this weekend. And when it does, I will let you know what it goes for on my Flippin' Dork channel. So thanks again for checking it out. Hey, thanks for checking out this video. I really appreciate that. If you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. That really helps get it out in front of other people that might like to check it out too. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that to keep up with more videos. And if you want to see some other projects I have, I have some here on the screen and down in the description below as well.